Your vehicle may be equipped with a dial type shifter that creates a clean, low profile center console area, which allows you to easily shift through all gears with the simple turn of a rotary dial. Plus, if your vehicle is equipped with manual mode, it gives you the option to upshift or downshift manually. To use it, make sure the gear is in drive, then press the M button in the center of the dial to activate. Then, use the plus or minus buttons located below the rotary gear dial to upshift or downshift. To deactivate manual control, just press the M button again. There's also a unique feature incorporated into the system to help avoid accidental injury or damage to the vehicle. Automatic return to park automatically engages the parking gear if stopped and the engine is turned off. Or in the event the driver's safety belt is unlatched and the driver's door is opened before it has been shifted into park. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about a feature that allows you to lock out gears, which can come in handy when driving in slippery conditions on steep slopes. It's called Progressive Range Selection, or PRS. Here's how to use it. While your vehicle is running and in park, press and hold the brake pedal, turn the selector to drive, then push the minus button to activate it. All available gears will be displayed with the current gear highlighted in the instrument display. Next, push the minus button again to lock out the gears, which begins with the highest first. For example, push the minus button two times to lock out the 10th and 9th gears. Only the available gears are displayed, and the transmission will automatically shift between the available gears. Push the plus button to unlock gears and allow the transmission to shift to higher gears. Progressive range selection will automatically deactivate when the ignition is switched off, so you'll have to reset it after each key cycle. Any questions? Go to owner.ford.com.